Hello Tubesters, it's me Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today I just wanted to show you one of the completed elephants, uh, one of three I've got to paint as part of a commission uh, for a fellow YouTuber which is Mick from the MGH uh, 1736 channel, I had to think of that. Uh, yeah, um, there will be some photographs at the end of this as well if the, the video isn't particularly clear. Uh, it's a first core elephant if you'd have seen from the reviews I've done on them. Uh, you've got a metal metal trunk, uh, uh, the rest is resin. The the trunk, it, I've pinned the trunk just because obviously the weight of the metal, so I've put a, a, a paper clip uh, drilled into the resin and obviously you know, put the paper clip uh, in, and that seems to work quite well. Uh, the I've put some metal banding around the tusks, uh, that's just from a pop can and I've cut those up. I did think of doing them on the, on the legs as you do see them, but it wasn't a great fit and I thought it looked worse than, than it does, so I've left those off. Um, I've tried my hand at freehanding. I've, I've never been a great um, artistic painter type thing. So uh, it's a stylized bird <laughs> on a stylized background. All taken from um, Indian carpets and textiles and things like that. You know, it's, uh, uh, We've got some little little flowers around the, around, around the base. Again, it's just sim everything simplified. Um, I've tried to make put a bit of off whites into the bird itself, and it's not really worked. Um, I've tried to uh, pink up the ears. Every elephant's different, just like uh, real people. Uh, well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and some have got the 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 pinky skin showing through, obviously on the head where they're moving stuff on the trunk uh, underneath. Um, so I've shown a bit of that, but I've seen, I've seen so many pictures of elephants of recently when I've been researching this. Uh, you can just have them all grey as well. Obviously, elephants are also uh, they have that obviously where they've been throwing dust around themselves and things like that. But um, on the whole, I've gone for this like bluey grey look. Uh, this I wasn't sure if it was an actual rope or if it was silk, if it was something fancy, but I've gone for the rope in in the end. Uh, I've used a couple of different metallics. Normally, I, I um, take the, the shine down a lot by using you know paint washes and things but this time I've left it um, all glistening I think it works probably better the crew figures were a slight pain to to mount on the on the elephant itself the two back ones weren't too bad but these two at the front were a right pain uh, I've had to pin them anyway um, you know I, I wouldn't suggest you just put it like say some super glue on uh, they really do need a, a pin and again for that one it's just one of these oversized paper clips I, I use those a lot and uh, just cut it cut down and obviously place in the figure and then obviously drill your hole in the in the elephant obviously put them in first uh, mark them roughly where you want your hole put them down first before you actually put, do any pinning because once you've got that pin it's you really that's where that figure's got to go the mahuts the the elephant driver here is is slightly uh, off to one side that's because he's got no feet and I was trying to find hide the feet behind the ears as best I could. Obviously they're designed to sit further down. And on the other two elephants, when I've put the other crews on just to see if they if they looked okay, they actually do seem to sit better on that style of elephant than this one. So um you know whether they were molded for this one I've uh, for the other ones I don't know. But he actually it works I think because he's he's looking like he's he's looking over the top of the elephant about to launch that uh, javelin. Uh, I've left the, the figures themselves fairly light skinned rather than you know um, darker um, skinned. Um, uh, I've gone for a slightly darker look on two of them just to, to break it up a bit, but not not overly. Uh, I've done some. I've done a diamond pattern uh, on top on top of the the uh, the cover uh, just to so it looked a bit different. Um, the diamonds were again. I've only free handed those. Uh, they weren't a hundred percent in scale or size to each other, <laughs> classic me. But hopefully the figures—I was hoping the figures would cover them, and they do. So it, it gives you the effect that it's there. But um, you know, you're not losing anything because uh, they're hiding it quite well. I've got to put some bow strings on these, um, but I want to—I've I've still got to blow some some varnish over these yet. So uh, I'm actually going to leave the bow strings off and, until the end. But I'll put a couple of. Um, both strings on on those so that's our fair first elephant done the second one is I'm just starting to paint the cover now um, so he should be joining this one in the next couple of days 
Um, I've got to clean the crew off yet, actually, uh, and give those a, a primer and whatever. But um, no, well, you know, that I'm, I'm first. I've always wanted to paint some more elephants, which is why Mick gave me the, the opportunity, and uh, they've been quite uh, quite enjoyable. So, guys, thank you very much. There will be a few photographs at the end of the video, uh, only really just seeing what you've shown, what you can see here. Um, so, thank you very, very much for stopping by and taking a look at this uh, ancient Indian war elephant and crew. Uh, again, figure by first course, size is 28mm, figures are metal, and the elephant is resin. So, you take care of yourselves, and we will catch each other very soon on another video. Cheers.